previously. Just show me you got it. You got another lance? I don't have another lance for this one. On oh. Progression Series Season 2. You know what, Gage? I think I liked your play so much. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, mimic here. Go ahead. Come on, man. <laughs> no, no you, you can't decide to do the same thing I'm doing every week. Stop copying my homework. What, what do I got, bro? In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, 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 Gage. People might be shocked to see that we're doing a mid-season judgment, or I should say, like, mid-arc judgment, more accurately. Uh, why'd you go ahead and tell the fans why we're doing that? We're doing a mid-arc uh, judgment because you might have started to notice a lot more side sets have started to get printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and with that, there's going to be more sets that we open before we hit this next arc. So we kind of talked it over, and Breakers of Shadow was actually the midpoint of the, uh, the arc that we're currently in. So we said, oh, well, maybe we should add a couple additional changes. Maybe we should talk about some things that maybe we wanted to look at for the rest of progression series. I think we came up with some pretty good changes. What do you think? I think so. I think the first one of those is going to the Hall of Fame. We're going to Hall of Fame a card that a lot of you have really wanted to see in there for quite some time, and that is Soul Charge. Talk about game determinative cards, Gage. What do you think? Yeah, it's been pretty swingy. I know there's been a few episodes that even a full-powered Soul Charge did not win the game. Pretty exciting to see those, but it is a really <laughs> oppressive card, so I think it's time to let it go. Sayonara yeah. to the um, the Soul Charge, right? There's a reason it's on the ban list, and we'll probably stay there until the end of time. But cards that won't be staying there till the end of time, we're actually bringing a card back from the Hall of Fame, and that is Ring of Destruction. May seem counterintuitive since we just did the burn episode, previous episode, but uh, this card's been errated, so it's not nearly as bad as it was before. And uh, I think when you're looking at all the other cards there, I think it's perfectly okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think we can let the rod shine a little bit here. Maybe we'll play it. Maybe we won't. Just don't queue up the chain burn again. We'll be fine. I was going to say, maybe we'll see it this episode. Who knows? And then <laughs> third and finally, Gage, I think this is the change that most of the viewers are going to be excited for. Why don't you go ahead and tell them? Yeah, okay, so this one is one that I actually brought up. I thought it would be pretty good. One thing that we run into is the three loss streak gives the loser a ban, right? We can remove any card from their opposition's collection, and hopefully that would, like, even the playing field. But we found sometimes that a lot of the cards that are banned are ones that were already banned in game or just are different purposes. So we decided to rework the rule a little bit and add a different caveat. If you're on a three lose streak, rather than being forced to ban a card from your opponent's collection, you can instead bring back one of your own. So we're introducing an unbanned system instead too, which could definitely toss some things up. There's been some cards that haven't really gotten to shine in the limelight. Notably Norden. We won't talk about <laughs> him. We'll see him again soon, hopefully though. I've got my own fusion monster and El Shadal construct that I'd like to unlock as well, but I think you may have a copy of it. So it's it's going to be interesting since we sometimes acquire the cards that we may have banned previously and how that's going to play out. But I think people are going to like the changes and uh, no new redoer tickets or anything like that. You and I seem pretty healthy on those. And I'm, I don't know about you, Gage. I'm ready to get into today's episode. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Last episode, I have no words. I guess Gage and I were both trying to cheese a win out of the other person, and I guess I had the cheesier deck considering I was the one who came out on top. I'm not exactly sure if I'm proud of that, but I'm curious to know who you guys were rooting for in that last episode, in all honesty. In any case, though, we win. We get to spin the wheel, and so let's go ahead and see what we're going to get here. Lots of fun stuff to be had. Slowing down. <gasps> go, 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 go! 
shit. Okay, well, I mean, a wild card secret rare is still pretty good, all things considered, but it could have been a starlight. Let's see what we're getting. So I'm taking a look through wing raiders. There's not like a ton. We have most of the common. Same thing goes for like the rares, the super. So it really comes down to like the ultras and the secrets. I'm going to take a card that might actually shock most of you. Uh, I think it's honestly between break sword, which is generically good, but I don't really have a lot of like good rank three decks. We could in the future, but I'm actually going to take raid raptor force strix and that may or may not foreshadow what might be coming for today's episode but we'll have to see how the polls go speaking of which let's throw it on over to gage so we can tell you all about today's set premium gold infinite gold it doesn't happen often but we ran into a literal like once in a lifetime matchup last episode our barrier statue stun deck against chain burn i think anybody that could watch that episode from frame one could see the outcome of that very grateful we even got a game out of it but yeah that one was going to be an uphill battle no matter what way we looked at it hopefully this week we can return to normal play some more uh good Yu-Gi-Oh decks right <laughs> today we're opening premium gold three actually a really sick set another addition onto the premium gold rarity i still don't like it but as for the reprints they're bangers in this set the gold series sets like maximum gold and all of them actually do tend to release like really important cards in the game, reprinting them in gold rarity or giving them access to for other players to obtain. PGL3 really held it down well. All the Burning Abysses were released at this point in the game and they all got retrained into the gold rare. Uh, pretty good to see. Unfortunately, our Dante is already gone. He will be missed. I was just pogging about Archfina Centric because I love this card. Here's a fresh reprint off of it. Uh, pretty nice to pick up multiple more copies of this. Luster and Vector are also very, very important for Draco Faceoff. Look, they bundled them together just for you. We talked a little bit about Draco Faceoff it being necessary to have specifically Vector. That's the only Draco Overlord like, I think in the game at the moment. So, if we can manage to pull that, we can actually maybe piece together the, uh, the engine there. Other cards that are crazy, Mass Change 2, uh, this is its first, like, accessible reprint outside of the starter deck it was released in. I don't think we have a Dark Law or anything like that, though. We would have to get that from OTS Pack, uh, which would be really difficult to pull. And this is a great sight to see, bro. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit gets a reprint in here in Gold Rare. Great to pick up, of course, any hand trap in the game that can bolster our, all of our decks. And then the XYZs, the pull here is crazy. We got returning all-stars like Gaga Ga Cowboy, Lightning Chidori can make some crazy things. Giant Hand was a prize card at the time. This was its first reprint uh, accessible to everybody. Dante's a little sad to see because we are not able to play him, but he's there. He's in there. Emerald's back, and then Majester Paladin's also a really cool pool that we can potentially grab. The Gold Secret Rare cards are also pretty solid. Fire and Ice Hand get reprints in here, which uh, might set Alex off to play a little bit of Hat. Maybe we can make a little read that that's what he'll take to the table today. Cosmo also got some important reprints. Dark Destroyer, we were talking about how expensive this card was at the time, bro. This was like an $100 secret rare. Uh, this was a much needed reprint for the card. Unfortunately, it's in the premium gold rarity, so I, you could probably guess the, the secret rare still held their value pretty well. Other cards to consider, uh, there's Hope Harbinger, which is very strong on his own, and Beatrice, which is also pullable in here. I'm pretty sure this was a debut. Unfortunately, again, rest in Peace, Dante, you will be missed. All right, today I got to open the pity packs, so let's just bust open the Astral Pack 8. Let's get three of those packs going. I don't even think there's anything I want out of it. Whoa! Whoa! Fiendish Chain! Sick card! An ultimate rare. I think I talked about it before. Really cool. Uh, what else in there, though? Lose one turn. This card is super annoying, right? Imagine back in the day people trying to make this work. Last pack? Oh my god. I, I think I have a full set of ultimate rare Fiendish Chains on the... <laughs> the progression series account. I cannot believe that. That's crazy luck. Super sick. Unfortunately, we already have a billion of these, bro. We're going to add them to the collection. Not that we'll probably consider any of it, but let's open the big set today. Premium Gold 3. This set is crazy. Like, you just saw, as Gage discussed it, there are so many insane cards in this set. Unfortunately, it's limited by the fact that there's only five cards per pack. Man, the gold sets have been an absolute just joy to have in Prog Season 2. 15 packs coming right up. Right off the bat, nothing too crazy. We already have most, if not all, of these cards, so I'm kind of disappointed for our first pack. Pack number two, still not looking too great. Oh, great. Our good old friend Barbar is making a uh, infamous return. Mask Change 2 is kind of neat if we actually, I think Dark Law's in here, I hope it is, but if it's not, that's just a complete waste of a card. We already have Dweller, the Cosmo stuff and the Pain Gainer are like fine if we get like maybe Dark Destroyer, but that's being a bit optimistic. Pack number three, uh, good thing we banned Dante just considering all the BA support gets reprinted in the set. There's regular Mask Change, which I think we already have. Farm Girl's good. Again, we're slowly getting like the Cosmo stuff, but again, I think we're gonna have to get like a singular like Cosmo card every single gold secret rare for 15 packs. Otherwise, it's not happening. Well, you know, I say that, and there's Cosmo Town. So we have in order gotten Wicked Witch, Farm Girl, and Cosmo Town now. So like 
We're on our way, and maybe there's a chance, but honestly, I'm still not holding my breath. First pack, mistake. That's pretty good, right? Decent little floodgate. Unfortunately, I'm not really excited to see any of these Burning Abyss cards popping up because without Dante, they are all but unplayable. Number two, Big Eye, Grand Horn of Heaven. Uh, nothing notable in that pack. Time Space Trap Hole, Fire Hand. Interesting. Oh, okay. That one feels a lot better of a pack here, I think. Like, Bish Balkan could make for some degenerate FDKs later down the line. Beatrice is just a phenomenal card in general. Unfortunately, we don't have Dante, like we said, but two level sixes can make a foolish burial on legs. That's strong on its own. This is so funny. They, I... <laughs> I literally said we need a singular Cosmo card every single pack, and since I said that, we have gotten them. Um, It's not Dark Destroyer. I, I, we really need Dark Destroyer if that's going to be a strategy we even consider, but it is what it is. Okay, the streak has been broken. That was pretty funny, though. You know, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I kind of prefer seeing the Cosmo cards rather than Junk Karibo and Sukumo Slash. Fire Lake. Whoa. That's a pretty good card. Maybe we can put together some, some Burning Abyss. Sans Dante. Wow, that looks like a good pack, bro. Forerunner. Dvorak in here. This was also a prize card. Not a good one, but it's a prize card. We have Constellar Ptolemaeus. We actually have the full line here to be able to make with this. Volcasaurus is super cool to see because you could go Ptolemaeus into Volcasaurus. Volcasaurus pop a card, deal the burn damage, and then you make Gaia Charger over top of this so you can still attack with it. Sick, honestly, right? Whoa, that is such a sick combo. Isn't that crazy? Mr. Traveler of the Burning Abyss. I'm happy you're there, but unfortunately we can't make much use of you. But Ghost Ogre right next to you is a pretty sick gold rare to pull. Obviously an iconic hand trap in today's game, but also this card is just solid. It's a level three tuner, psychic, making an Itali target, and it can use its effect on the field, which is pretty mutually exclusive to uh, this ghost girl. Uh, it's neat. It's got everything going for it. I like it. Breakthrough skill. Pretty sure that's our third. Dark Destroyer's a pretty sick card. I actually haven't really been paying attention to the Cosmos we pulled. Got a straw man there, it looks like. But that's something, if you can get the right card, you can build a deck around it in this. And that's another Forerunner. If we actually had Dark Destroyers in places of these Forerunners, we could consider playing Cosmo. We have three e Telly too, so like it's not out of the realm of possibility. That's a third Forerunner. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> There's a Dogfighter, too. There's Luster Pendulum. Speaking of just good cards, uh, we haven't seen a ton in, like, the gold rare slot that's been too useful to us, but Luster Pendulum is actually quite good, considering we actually have an Ignister, although Ignister does get reprinted in here. This is our first copy of this, and so there's a lot of cool things we can do with this. Titanic Galaxy is a fantastic rank 8. I don't know how many rank 8 decks we have access to right now. Uh, it's our third copy of Mistake, it looks like. Well, total. And then... um. The other ones, I, this card I just completely blacked out of my memory, bro. I don't think I ever realized this card existed. Vector is actually strong, and Giant Hand, wow. Uh, this is a good pack. Uh, the Gold Seeker rares are a little bit of a miss, but this was important because I talked about uh, Draco Faceoff, so I think now we have this besides Luster Pendulum, but Master Pendulum, the vanilla version of this, is a card that you can play. So I think we are live for Draco Faceoff. And then Giant Hand's a good rank four, right? Solid. Two more packs left. What do we got in the close here? Uh, wow, nothing to write home about that one. That's a stinker. Uh, last pack, another giant hand, the Magister Paladin? I don't know if this is a key. There's Dark Destroy and Straw Man in the same pack. What the fuck is this set, dude? So we have, we still have three packs to go, but let, let me go over this. We have a Dark Destroyer, a Straw Man, a Farm Girl. We probably have a playset of Wicked Witch because Wicked Witch was common in Dimension of Chaos, so that's probably not an issue. Not to mention we have three Forerunners and we pulled Cosmo Town, and I'm pretty sure we have Cosmo Town from Dimension of Chaos as well because that was also a rare. We might be able to play Cosmo. That's fucking insane. We still have three packs left, and I don't know what other Cosmo support we already have. If we can get a second Dark Destroyer, I might actually play Cosmo this episode. Let's see what we get in the last three packs. Another straw man. What the fuck? That's insane. We have e -Tell it's Oh my God. Okay, two more. God, man. Um, oh, Show me another Dark Destroyer. Please show me another Dark Destroyer. Ah, uh, there's no Dark Destroyer, but this is pretty good. Castell, another copy of this. A Volcasaurus, which we've actually not had up until this point, because this, I believe, was like a manga promo or something. This this had a really weird way of entering the game. And uh, these the rest of these... Another Ignister is cool, but I think it's limited. Aside from that, though, I got to check out my Cosmo shit. Holy shit. So I'm looking at my Cosmo support, and it's, it's a bit rough considering... Wait, we pulled Dogfighter, too. Oh, my God. We have another thing we can go into. Okay, so... It does kind of suck because we don't have 
What are we missing? We're missing Good Witch, which like doesn't really matter. Good Witch is just another pilot, which is fine. We're missing Tin Can. Is Tin Can even legal? Yeah, Tin Can was Breakers of Shadow. So we didn't have Tin Can. And then we're also missing... I know we're missing something else important here. Oh my God, what is it? There, there's something else. Oh, we're missing Slip Rider. Oh, that kind of sucks actually. Being able to float into like spell and trap removal is pretty good. I think what's going through my head right now is can we do better? And that might be super greedy of me to think that. But, oh, it's tempting. There's no way we can do better, right? We pulled, like, the actual nuts when it came to the cost. Like, it could have been better, yes. But I think there are so many outcomes where we pull worse and Cosmo isn't viable. All right, after a little bit of pondering, I know me in particular, I'm running low on redoer tickets. So I gotta be choosy with whether I want to use them or not. This one in particular felt like a pretty good hit. Uh, cards like Beatrice... Cards like Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Giant Hand is awesome too. These cards feel like irreplaceable. So I feel like this should be good enough to keep. I don't want to risk it on a reroll and get less. So let's submit this to the collection. Let's see what we got building for today. Yeah, you have to look. There are 40 gold secret rares. And we pulled... We could have gotten Slip Rider. That sucks. But in any case, out of... There's two gold secret rares per pack. So that means there's 30 gold secrets. And I want to say like half of our gold secrets were Cosmo cards. I think that is extremely unlikely to happen again. Considering how much worse we could pull. I'm looking at the other cards here and they are not particularly good. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to the collection. I think we did good anyway. We got like the, uh, I wanted another Castell. I wanted at least one Volcasaurus. I think we got a lot of the other generic stuff I was looking for. I do kind of want to do another 15 just to see if it would have been better or worse. Okay, because I'm sick in the head, I want to see if we would have done better or worse. So this doesn't count. I already locked in, but I just want to see. Okay, nothing good there. Nothing good there. Harbinger would have been nice, but we didn't uh, respin, obviously. Ooh, there's a Slip Rider. That sucks. We could. Uh, there's two Slip Riders. Okay. Uh, Light Sword. A third Slip Rider. Hilarious. Wicked Witch. We already have four Slip Riders. We would not have been able to even consider Cosmo. Only one Farm Girl, too. Yeah, I think we could actually maybe play Cosmo with this. I'm going to take a look. Let's get to building. One thing that I love about Season 2 of Progression Series is the fact that we get to go into these side sets and re-experience a lot of these cards that maybe we didn't get the first time around. Cosmo, in particular, has been one of the archetypes that is all over the place in terms of rarity. A lot of high rarity cards locked under sets that have one printing until these side sets come out. I put together one today with the help of I Wish TCG, always in our corner, and he cooked up a Cosmo list that is, uh, looks pretty good. No farm girl, no problem is the mantra we're going with, and I think that's gonna be okay, because our main ship pilot is going to be the Cosmo Wicked Witch, and she is good on her own. The pilots can banish themselves to summon a ship from hand. You can summon anything that has a higher level from it, and the ships have the ability that when they're destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish them to demote themselves into the pilot. Essentially, you think like it's ejecting from the cockpit, right? Pretty cool. I like it. Farm Girl would be able to search out all of our pieces if it dealt battle damage, but Wicked Witch is just insane on its own for the fact that it has a once per turn during either player's turn effect that you can pay a thousand life points and it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's pretty sick. Pretty annoying too. So uh, I expect this card to be a pain in the ass to deal with. As for the other pilots, we have one tin can, which is like the main going first play. If you can end on tick can during the end phase, you get a search for any of your ships that you want, or at least one of the, the ships that you get the choice of. And then hopefully that can convert itself on your opponent's turn. You can banish the Cosmo to then summon from your hand one of the big ships and uh, get your engine rule in there, right? I'm elated that we pulled a Dark Destroyer. I want to say that's one of the only reasons that we can play this. Uh, this card was unbelievable. Glad that it already got a reprint and we were able to secure ourselves one copy. Can't target the big ships with card effects. Already annoying, but if it's destroyed, this card can pop a monster on the field, which is insane. The Delta Flyer can sink the attack of one of the cards and send a Cosmo monster from deck to graveyard. Dogfighter gives us continuous tokens and then Forerunner gives us life points. You might be noticing the star of the show right here, Mind Master is around for this deck profile, uh, but he's not doing anything extraordinary. We do have a lot of psychics in the form of all of our little pilots are psychic monsters, so the fact that we can cycle them out for different ones to serve different purposes is pretty strong. Even just tutoring a tin can out of the deck isn't half bad. Hopefully if it sticks around in our collection, we have crazier things that we can do with Mind Master, but let's keep it tame at this point, right? I might be a little bit rusty with the Cosmo. It's been a minute since I've played with them, that's for sure, but I'm excited to see what we're capable of doing with it, especially with this kind of, like, in-the-middle type build. I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> Looks like it'll be a hell of a lot of fun, though. I'm excited to play it. Let's see what Alex has got for today.
All right, I give this about like a 15% chance to actually win today's episode, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. If we can actually see Dark Destroyer, I think our odds of us winning this just go up exponentially because this card is cracked. Some people still think that this card is just like the epitome of power creep. And honestly, I sort of agree because back during the day when Dark Destroyer was first released, there was very few things that could actually like deal with Dark Destroyer effectively. And so here we are playing absolutely neutered Cosmo if you can even call it that. It's, I'm so pissed. I was looking through my collection. I missed out on Soar Trooper in Breakers of Shadow, which was a super, which, and there's a super in every pack. So like conceivably I should have pulled at least one. No, I pulled zero, which fantastic, great. So that makes it even harder for us to summon this. But in any case, we're gonna do our best. So we're playing almost every single Cosmo card we have. So we have the Destroyer, we've got two Delta Shuttle. This may seem bad, but we can send Dark Destroyer to Grave with Delta Shuttle's effect and then start bringing it back with like Call of the Haunted and stuff. So that's honestly why this is in here. This also floats into something like Farm Girl. So there is utility to having this. And it's also a random call for reasoning. So I figure it's like actually not terrible. One Dogfighter, only one Farm Girl, Triple Forerunner, Double Straw Man, and Triple Wicked Witch. It's very slim, but when you pair it with the fact that we have Triple e Telly, Double Cosmo Town, Triple Reasoning, and then we also have like stuff like Triple Upstart Goblin. We have Cosmo Town that can also search stuff and like shuffle cards back and possibly like mulligan in a sense. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's still not great. So we are relying on our good old friend Gores. I know it's a bit counterintuitive with stuff like Call the Haunted, but Gores is just a way that can really equalize the board. There could be other traps in here, like maybe more Solemns or other things like that, but I think Gores just does it better. And if we have just like one turn, we can really just turn it up, especially if we get a Gores established, then have like Battle Phase Attack, e Telly into Farm Girl, Farm Girl Search Dark Destroyer. That could just like almost win the game immediately. Speaking of traps though, we have Triple Call the Haunted and One Oasis to bring back our Dark Destroyer or just any of our cards for that matter one strike and then one torrential. I'm trying to keep it kind of light on the traps just because, again, we do want to make sure we can establish gores. And gores plus Cosmo Town can be a bit counterintuitive, but I want to summon the gores before we really do much else. The extra deck, I gotta be honest, is probably never gonna come up, especially because our levels in this deck are so weird. The side deck, in case Gage gets the strange idea to play the same deck as me in case his Cosmo Pool is far superior, uh, I've got Sidra in the side so that we can go Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. I think that would just be really funny. And also, it happens to work against desk bots now that I think about it. In case he's on any nonsense, we have Triple Valor. We've got some Kaijus as well, just because that can out a lot of really annoying things. Triple MST. MST can actually combo with Cosmo Town, similar to Twin Twister, because we can pop our own town, which allows us to search. And so there is a merit to like maining this over Twin Twister, but honestly, I'd rather pop two back row and get in with Farm Girl than only be able to pop one, even though it's a better trade in terms of comboing with Cosmo Town. If Gage only has one back row, we can get the best of both worlds, thanks to Twin. We'll see how it goes. And then I've got some Black Horns and Skill Drain. Again, it's, it's hard to say what Gage is going to play this episode, because we've just been playing absolute just nonsense lately. So uh, this is no different. So let's see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Gage, holy shit. Premium gold. All the gold sets have been great, but infinite gold? Infinite is right. There is infinitely good cards in this set. How you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Infinite possibilities, yeah. too, bro. Feeling like, again, we getting uh, the second stab at those really important archetypes and stuff like that. It was cool opening this set. There's a lot of great generic XYZs but also some cool archetypal stuff. I gotta s Did you get anything good you want to yeah, share Yeah, we'll me? see. Maybe I'll be playing some of it today. Maybe not. But I will say, I am definitely glad that I banned that Dante a few episodes back because you had, like, the <laughs> whole Burning Abyss archetype at your disposal today. And I will say, I did not plan that ahead of time. It just happened to work that way. So I'm excited. I think there's some cool stuff that this set unlocks. And uh, I think this is one of the best parts about Prog Season 2 is getting side sets, like, this powerful. Yet, yes, we do get star packs, and those are obviously not that great. But when we get side sets <laughs> like this... These are killer. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to see what you brought today, man. Let's see if your gold is good enough. To All right. Shoot. Let's shout the patron. Ahmad Alka, thank you for the support. And maybe I can win a rock, paper, scissors for once in my life. Nope. You can't. I did. You I can't. can't. I swear. I think I've lost the last, like, five of these. So just go ahead and pick first, and let's just get it over with. Yeah, you know what the deal is. I'm going to go first. Let's see how today's I'm game I'm really scared because you, out. you, the way you set up last episode, I'm not feeling good about how today is going to go. So best of luck, buddy. All right, best of luck, duelist. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to normal summon, bro. You ready for this? No. Cosmo Wicked Yo! Witch. Oh, okay. I'm in. 
Yeah, she's a baddie. Level 4 can protect herself, so I think she can be pretty good on her own there. Might seem a little bit inconspicuous. I'll just pass the turn. Okay. Who knows what else I have locked Who up in knows? my hand, bro? Stand by main. Well, I know what I've got locked up in my hand is a very banned oh. card in Pot of yep. Greed. So we'll go ahead and draw two. And you know what? Man, we didn't judgment that one uh, yet. Yeah. We decided to keep that <laughs> People one People are going to be complaining so much that we didn't. You can take another uh, thousand life points there, too. Generous, thank you. Of course. Um, now the question is, what do I want to do? Good old Wicked Witch can't be destroyed by battle or card effects if you, of course, pay the thousand. Mm -hmm. Which you just graciously <laughs> gave I, I, me I'm a I'm so free generous, right? I gave you a free <laughs> activation for it. All right, I think here's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to set one, two, three, and I'm just going to pass it back. Okay. Well, it's not Chain Burn because you're playing Upstart Goblin in it. So, <laughs> so... I have no idea what this could be. Uh, I'm going to, however, during the end phase, I'm going to activate Wicked Witch's effect sure. to bounce out. Is that okay? That's fine. All right, I get to banish and summon a ship from the hand. The Slip Rider comes down. It appeared. Yep, this one takes care of back row, so very timely in the end phase here. Uh, I'm going to take care of the one closest to your deck. A Torrential Tribute. Not going to be doing too much against this deck, I don't think, but... Solid, I like it. All right, uh, draw for turn. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm just going to normal summon another Cosmo Wicked Witch. Sure. Double trouble, baby. I'm going to go battle phase. 1900. 19 is fine. 2300. 23 is also fine. I did not expect to make it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to set a card and end my turn. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. I mean, you got to do something now. Right? <laughs> do I? I'm just going to set one. And I'm going to set two more. And I'm going to pass it back. Dude, I have no idea what you're playing. <laughs> I'm going to draw for turn. Stand by main phase, okay? Yep. Okay, well, I mean, I'm going to go battle phase. I'll declare an attack for 23 in your face down. Well, Gage, I guess it's time to reveal what I'm up to today. And you have destroyed the Cosmo Wicked Way. <laughs> 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 no way! No! Why? Come on, man! <laughs> Play something different! Alright, I'm gonna go 1900 direct. I am going to activate Call of the Haunted, targeting my Wicked Witch. Sure. Would you like to redeclare? Yeah, I'm gonna redeclare into Would it. Would you like to do anything? Um, this has to be before damage step. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna activate. You're gonna pay your thousand? I am gonna activate mine as well. Okay, I'll take a thousand life points off of you there. Um, main phase two. I'm okay. just gonna pass. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. Okay. All right. Did not think we'd be doing this this way, but you know what? We do what we have to do. I'm going to sacrifice my Wicked Witch for Cosmo Delta Shuttle. Oh, you're right. I didn't expect this one either. What the? <laughs> you, you, this is a tribute summon, correct? This is a tribute summon. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that gonna fun? be fine. Yep. I'm going to activate my Delta Shuttle. Sure. I will dump Dark Destroyer to the graveyard and okay, sink see. your Slip Rider by 800 points. I see where this is going. This is not going to be good. 15. Okay. Okay. We're going to go Battle Phase. Sure. I'm going to go Delta Shuttle into Slip Rider. <sighs> All right. I think I've got a read, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play into it. I'm going to take this 500. Okay. I'm not going to use Slip Rider's effect. Okay. I have a read that I think you have Call of the Haunted, and that's why you're dumping Dark Destroyer. Unfortunately, no way that I try to, like, do this is going to work out how I want it, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to let this go. That's fine. I'm not going to use the effect to Slip Rider. Okay. Sure. You were correct. We do have Call of the Haunted. Okay, yeah. This is fine. Sure. So bring back Destroyer. Uh, Destroyer, target, Wicked Witch. I'll pay a 1,000 to keep it alive. And I will Solemn Strike. Oh, you're so disgusting. I, I didn't realize <laughs> you had another level to this like that. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Right. 3,000. 3,2. What are you attack with Delta Shuttle? Wait, was this all during the battle phase? Yeah. Oh, my God, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn, must have blocked out. It's crazy, isn't there. it? Oh, my God. Wow, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I'm going to take the three. Okay. e -telly. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Farm Girl. Dude, okay. 15. Um, I mean, I have to... There's no way I can let you do that. I'm going to have to call the Haunted here. Sure. Part of the reason I didn't use the Slip Rider in there, but I've run into more problems, and that's that I look and I pop your Call of the Haunted that's connected to this Dark Destroyer, and you just Dark Destroyer. And <laughs> I was like, that <laughs> fucking sucks. So yeah, I'm going to target the Slip Rider. I'm going to special it, of course. 
I'll take care of the last remaining back row you got there. Sure. It was an oasis, which is good for you that you didn't destroy the Call of the Haunted with Dark Destroyer, because you'd probably be cooked there. Okay, uh, so Slip Rider's back, which sucks. Not much I can do about that. Think from here. Obviously not redeclaring with Farm Girl, I wish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, second main. I don't really think there's too much else to do here. Uh, I'll go to end phase. I'll just resolve my uh, emergency teleport and Farm Girl gets banished. Go ahead. Okay. Draw. Stand by main. Oh. Dude, I'm like one good card away from putting this together. You know what all my cards fucking say? They say target, Alex. I need Interesting. To, I, Interesting that they all say target. I need them not to do that. I, oh, I was so close. I mean, I was close to beating you just last turn if you didn't have this call the haunted back here. So lucky, <laughs> lucky you. Damn, bro. That fucking... I was saying in my opening too, Dark Destroyer is just an asshole. Like he this is. card is so obnoxious. It's a piece of shit, bro. Let me tell you. Oh, come on. There's got a gauge. You can do this, bro. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I'm so close. Right. So I think the one benefit I have is like you don't have any pilots left. And like you kind of got a commanding position with Dark Destroyer, but maybe I can like outlive you here. Maybe I can find a way to beat this. It's not sexy, bro. I know. I'm depressed about it. Uh, I'm going to th throw this in defense. Okay. I'll normal summon Sword Trooper. Okay. I'll end my turn. <laughs> okay. I, I know. It looks whack. Trust it. Trust the process. I'll trust the process. I'll trust the process. Main one. I imagine you've got some stuff in your hand. Otherwise, there'd be no reason for you to do this. Okay. So, like, you're obviously just going to tag out Sword Trooper here. Uh, so you, what? You have, like, your own Dark Destroyer, and that's where this is going to get really annoying. Uh, I'm going to start by firing Delta Shuttle. Sure. I'm going to dump a Forerunner. Okay. I'm going to sink your Sword Trooper by eight. Okay. Or by seven. So it's Excuse 100 me. defense. Got it. Oh, 300 attack. Yeah. Yeah, your Sword Trooper, not your Slipper. Oh, the Sword Trooper. Got it. Okay, my bad. Yeah. One guy. Okay. All right. Uh, as I said, there is zero chance that this is actually going to work, but I'll try it anyway. We'll tag. Yeah, I'm going to have to tag out. Uh, yep. Here you got. I guess this guy's probably fine. Um... Dog fighter. Dog fighter. You know me. I got that dog in me, bro. You got the dog in you. Yeah. Okay. Would you like um, to redeclare? Thinking about that. I actually don't think I want to redeclare. Sure. Let me correct myself. I'm going to redeclare into your slip rider. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be fine. And I will use slip rider's effect. Sure. So I'll banish slip rider. Summon one from the deck. A little weenie from the deck. Call the haunted also goes as well. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, I'll just summon a Wicked Witch from deck here. Sure. All right. Uh, I'll go second main then. I'm going to put Delta Shuttle to defense. I'm going to set one. I'll throw it back. Okay. Um, draw. Standby yep. phase. Dogfighter goes off. Get, I get your a token. token. Yep. Mm -hmm. Trying to decide. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Not exactly where I wanted it. <laughs> you could actually use the Dogfighter token in Dueling Book. They have Whoa. it. Whoa. Wait, let me adjust it. Immersion gauge. Immersion. How do I pick again? You hold uh, hold the token. Thing. Got it. Got it. Let me type in dog. There it is. Dog fight. Look at it, bro. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Immersion for the viewers. Anything for the viewers. And then it's got the exact same stat line here, too. Okay. All right. Going to try to decide if I want this in attack or defense real quick. Um, sure. I'm going to put it in attack for now. Okay. Okay. We'll so. go main phase one. I guess I'm going to activate reasoning. Oh, God. You and reasoning, Gage. <sighs> Okay. The issue with this is that it could be any fucking thing under the sun. <laughs> yep. What do I not want you to hit is the question. I don't think I care about any of the pilots. Let me think about this. Like, Tin Can doesn't do anything. There's Straw Man, which you have some things banished, but nothing, like, too crazy. There's Sore Trooper, but you only have Wicked Witch and Grave. There's Farm Girl, which does, like, nothing to my board. There's Good Witch, which... Also does nothing to my board. There's Wicked Witch, which also does nothing to my board. I also think you're out of Wicked Witches. You are. Uh, so then we get to the other weird stuff. So you could hit your own Dark Destroyer, which would suck. Forerunner is annoying, but it's still not big enough. <sighs> Slip Riders are probably like the most annoying thing that you could summon on me here. I think it's between five and eight. I think it's either Slip Rider or Destroyer are probably good for you. Everything else I think is manageable. So then that leads to the question of how many Slip Rider versus Destroyer do you have? 
Slip Rider was a rare initially, and it was also a gold rare in this set. And Dark Destroyer was a secret and a gold secret. So statistically, you should have more Slip Riders than you do Dark Destroyers, unless you got extremely lucky, which you could have. I'm going to play the odds. I'm going to pick five. Okay. See what we get. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that. Ooh, man, you're no you way you're this lucky. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> With the fun. best part is that it was Delta I Shuttle. This game, bro. I it was it, sometimes, bro. Flashbacks to season one, there, I buddy, of your reasonings failing you. Damn, I kind of thwarted all my plans. I guess I'm just passing. Go ahead. Draw, standby. You get a dogfighter token. Is it every standby? It's every standby phase. Crazy. Yep. Even I didn't know that one, bro. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Main one. I'm just gonna go battle. I'm just gonna attack your wicked witch. Okay, I'll protect her. Sure. She's down to 25. Uh, second main. I'm gonna. Fire Cosmo Town. Okay. I'm going to activate. The ad or the mulligan? The ad. Okay. Get Farm Girl back. Yep. Uh, now I'm going to mulligan. So I'm okay. going to mulligan Farm Girl and Straw Man. Okay. So I'm going to draw two here. Uh, I will set one. I'll pass it back. Okay. Uh, draw. Get your dogfighter token. Uh, I don't want it. That'd be funny if it was mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, you cannot stop filling your field with these ships. Why can't you make this easy on me? Bro, this is one of the worst fucking mirror matches I've ever played. I hate it. I'm, I'm, I'm miserable right now, bro. All right, I'm going to activate my own Cosmo Town. Uh, I'm going to use its effect. Okay, appears to be the right choice is going to be that Slip Rider. That's what I'm going to go for. Makes sense to me. Okay, I'll pay five. Sure. N not 5,000. A little too much. <laughs> To be at 2,000. Yep. Uh, I'll use the Cosmo Town to mulligan. I will sure. just mulligan the Forerunner that I have in my hand here. That's fine. Okay. I'm just going to set a card and double check and make sure I can't do anything to win this game again. Yep. All right. I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. Uh, Sure. I'll draw. Standby main. Or standby, would you like your dogfighter token? I don't want it. No. Okay. Main one. Okay. What do we do now? I'm gonna do what I should have done last turn. Uh, I'm gonna Delta Shuttle. Sure. Uh, I'm going to dump another Delta Shuttle. I'm gonna sink your Dogfighter by five on both sides. Okay. So it should be a 1519. This worked so well for you. Fuck it. <laughs> Reason. <laughs> now you get to play the game. Damn, bro. Um. I don't think you have more than Dark Destroyers, and then Forerunner would be, like, a very lucky hit. I think, like, it's probably five. You probably have the most fives out of anything, because it's, it's again, it's Delta Shuttle or it's Slip Rider. And I haven't seen a single one of those out of you yet. So I'll call five as well. All right. See what we hit. Shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, never lucky. At least you can't keep it alive, right? Yeah, I'm deciding what position I want to put her in. Um, I want her in attack. That seems like a liability. I'll put her in defense. Sure. I think my life was higher. I could afford to put her in attack. Uh, cool. Let's go battle phase. Sure. Let's try to hit your Wicked Witch. Um, yeah, I'll allow it. That's fine. Okay. Second main, I will just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Am I going to have another heavy read on you here? Because I can clear the game out this turn if I, if I do. None of these were set this turn, right? Nope. The only card that touched my field this turn was Reasoning and Wicked Witch. Okay. You're on real back row. Um, I've seen Call of the Haunted's, two of them in Oasis. You having the third would be crazy. Um, in 21? So, like, what are these? Are two real back rows then? Like, what could it be? Deep Prison, if you play it still? No one plays that in this era. <laughs> this is Prague, buddy. Anything, <laughs> Anything can happen. I'm going to go for this push. We'll see if I regret it. Uh, I'm going to call the Haunted during the end phase on Wicked Witch. Call the Haunted Wicked Witch. What are you doing here? You go Wicked Witch, tag into Slip Rider that I know is in your hand. Slip Rider, pop. I don't think we can let that happen. I'm going to Twin Twister in response. Okay. I'm going to pitch this Gores in my hand. Okay. Targets? Call the Haunted in my Cosmo Town. Yeah. Uh, my Cosmo Town effect. Yep. I will add a Forerunner. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Um, draw. Stand by main. Would you like to get a Dogfighter token? No, I'm <laughs> I'm over those Dogfighter tokens. It's bro. every standby I'm phase, fucking, Gage. It's every standby fighter. phase. I'm like the Master Duel prompt every time. Oh, that's I got to really even good. out in the game yeah. one here. Greedy me. I'll take two more. Are they game changers? Um, Forerunner in hand. Forerunner in hand. Forerunner in hand. Fuck. God damn it, Al. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me figure this out. I'm so close. 
two forerunner down. What are the odds you're playing a third? What are the odds you're playing a third? Because if you don't have a third, like, oh my god, do you have a third? There's no way. And this has to summon from deck. If you don't have a third... I can just tell you're agonizing over there. You hate this. It's like, the problem is, is this like game is so down to the wire. Now that I know you have Forerunner, it changes like the context completely. I'm trying to- Oh, that was the point. Yeah, I'm trying to find- That was the point. My, my line <laughs> to victory here and I can't, I can't navigate it. Something's not clicking for me. Now, anyone who played this mirror knows this whole mirror is just like one gigantic grind fest. It's, it's miserable. Just cause like, ev there's like, everything just keeps getting something else when it gets destroyed. Yeah. It's just, it's not a fun mirror match. No, it's, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember playing this deck. I liked playing Cosmo, but, like, I, I feel like the general sentiment was everyone just fucking hated the mirror. All right, I'm going to use the Cosmo Town. For 300, yep. I'm going to get the uh, the Sword Trooper to my hand. Sure. After much thought, I've decided I am going to Twin Twister. Yep. And for this Twin Twister, I'm going to pitch a copy of Cosmo Town that I'm sitting on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop the one connected to Dark Destroyer, and I'm going to pop the spare one. Uh, thinking... I guess I'll chain it. It's the third call of the haunted. Okay. Uh, so I'll get forerunner. Okay. And then these get destroyed. Yep. Twin Twister resolves. Yep. And then I have two effects. So I've got destroyer and forerunner. Yep. Uh, what do we want? <clears throat> Off of destroyer, I'll get a forerunner. Okay. And off of forerunner, I will grab. Oh, these also get banished. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Guess I'll just grab a straw man. <laughs> like, might as well. Okay. What is this called? The haunted. This is just floating, right? This isn't connected to anything. That's floating from the Wicked tribute yeah. summon of Delta Shuttle. Yeah. yeah. Flipping this guy to attack. This guy okay. too. Okay. I'm gonna go battle phase. Mm -hmm. I'll attack into Wicked Witch. Sure. I'll attack into Straw Man. Sure. About that one. I know your hand is Sword Trooper plus. You yeah, know, Sword slip Trooper, Slip Rider, rider yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you still have one card I don't know about. Uh, sure. That's fine. Uh, I think I'll lose now. <laughs> I mean, I got to do this now because I, I can't look silly. So, I mean, I'm going to have to brain con your Delta Shuttle. This is what I've that been trying. That was the last card. This is what I've been trying okay. to piece together the whole fucking time, but I can't because this stupid ship can't be fucking targeted. <laughs> I like, I'm so close. You have no idea. And I, I could not get this last literally like a hundred damage in to win this game. So I, now I think I lose. So I'm going to summon Sword Trooper. I'm going to use its effect. Summon Slip Rider. I'm going to pop this. Uh, Overlay? Well, yeah, let yeah, me see sure. if I want to pop that or my Cosmo Town. Not that it matters. It could. Uh, I guess pop the Cosmo Town and see what I can get. Sure. I suppose, yeah. Dark Destroyer. You, you had one of these somewhere. Yep, and then I'm gonna overlay these two. Who are you making? I only have one choice. Uh, it's gonna have to be Volcasaurus. In defense. Ew. Well, so yeah, the problem was <laughs> is like I really was just trying to get you to force one card on the field or something like that. Sure. And I just didn't have a way to. Like that's why I had to ask if you could double banish, because then if I could clear one of the guys, <laughs> then I was, you could just clear the other though. I don't know. I feel like maybe I missequenced this. It, it's probably all my fault. I'll just go to the end phase, and I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Uh, stand by main. At first, I was going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. You're not dead, but now you're stand dead. Stand by, I'll give myself uh, Yeah, get your token. It doesn't matter, though. What That's do you have? Fine. Do you have it? 800? I attack your token. Yep. Yep. E telly. Yeah, and you have another forerunner in hand. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, God, I'm going to I'm gonna be eating myself alive. I think I missequenced those last few plays. Forerunner, attack over your other token. Fuck. All right, game two. <laughs> Damn it. Game two. That was only game oh. one. I hate this mirror match so much. I thought I could have definitely had that game. I'm going to look after that one after we're done recording, and I'm going to definitely see if I can figure it out. Uh, it was close, though. It was close. Very close. 45 minutes. You know, I'm glad somebody came out the victor. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go first again this time. Let's see if I can set up a little bit better. All right. Best of luck, my friend. I'll be curious to Best see, like, what your deck ends up looking like, because obviously it's prog. We're playing with, like, gimped decks, so it's it's always interesting to see what we're able to cobble together. Yeah, terraforming's fine. They can always be pretty good. Starting with terraforming into the Cosmo Town's not a bad start. Yep. Um... I'm going to follow that up with Pot of Greed. Pretty good. Two more. Awesome. I'm going to activate Terraforming. Again. <laughs> town, yeah. Yeah. Couldn't get enough of the town. Um, I'm going to use Reasoning. Which one do you want to call him, man? So, 
Now that we're at the beginning of the game, I, God, I don't even know, man. I'm gonna think. <laughs> the thing is, I only really have the knowledge to work off of from what I saw of the previous game. So I still don't know how many of each card you have potentially. And it's also the beginning of the game. So I'm not like super terrified of a lot. So uh, Wicked Witch, Sword Trooper, Slip Rider, Delta Shuttle, Dark Destroyer, Forerunner. So I saw like all the main culprits. I'm just going to call four. You're going to call four. I'm just going to call four. Okay. Let's see what we hit. Nope. There's a five. Hey, Should have stuck with the five. Rider. It's a good one. We'll take him. Okay. Handsome looking guy. Uh, Let's pair it with a... I'll activate Cosmo Town. Sure. Oh, could you imagine I had that set up first? That would have been crazy. I'm going to use the town. I'm going to shuffle back Good Witch from my hand. Okay. And I'm going to draw one more card Just here. one. Sure. It also could have been anything except Slip Rider, to be fair. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I could, maybe I couldn't have gotten that lucky. Yeah. All right, I'm going to add one face down, and uh, I'm going to pass to you with that. All right, so I know you just have another Cosmo Town lurking in the hand, and that's all I should know. Cool. I'll draw. Uh, stand by main. Yep. Let me think. <clears throat> I'm going to Twin Twister just go after the back row. Sure. Call the, Call haunted. the haunted. Perfect. Uh, you can have this. Oh, that fucking sucks. Yep. I've got this. And I'm going to make oh. it a bit worse for you. Oh, Alec, what the fuck was that hand? Are you serious? <laughs> We're looking at the same grip. Oh, my God, bro. Two kaijus, farm girl. I want I want to jump off a bridge. Um, <laughs> Please don't I'm do gonna that. I'm going to take 1,100. Yep, okay. And then I'm going to take 15. Fucking, oh, my God. I probably just lost the game there. Yep. Back to farm girl. Yeah. How many of this do you have? Be honest. Yeah, we'll talk about it at the end. Uh, we'll get the boy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, one of them. I, I got one of them. I'm thinking if I want to tag out now just for the 3K, just because it's a lot of damage, and it puts you down to 24, and it already just puts you in an awkward spot, or do I want to just disrupt you with this later? I don't know how much mileage this destroyer is really going to get, in all honesty. We are playing the mirror, so it's not like I pop as much stuff as freely as usual. You know what? Fuck it. We'll get it. We'll get in for 3K. <laughs> yep. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I will set a card. I will pass my turn. Go, <laughs> go ahead. That's all <laughs> I got. Draw. Battle. Yep. We'll go Jesus Kiro in. Uh, I'm going to have to activate my Oasis of Dragon Souls. Sure. This will bring back Slip Rider, and I'll use Slip Rider's effect. I'll pop the Cosmo Town. Sure. And then I'll search with Cosmo Town. Yep. All right. Off the town, I will pick up pick up the Destroyer. Sure. Do you want to read Claire? I'm thinking. I... Will not redeclare. I'm just gonna pass. Okay, I'll draw. Stand my main. Yep. All right, I'll activate the Cosmo Town here. Knew you knew, knew you had it. Yep. Um, I'm gonna use it for two. I'm gonna shuffle back Forerunner and Slip Rider. Sure. Ooh, you had a lot of ships in your hand. Holy crap! All right, shuffle these back, and I'll take two more. That's awesome. That's what I needed. Well, uh, Alex, it's not fair if you're the only one to have really oppressive broken cards. So I'm glad I have one too. I'm gonna activate. System down. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I'm going to pay a thousand life. I'm going to banish all machines uh, you control and in your graveyard. Look at you having the cards for this matchup. Yep. Got you, bro. There you go. I'll shift this guy to attack. Sure. And uh, I'll go battle phase for 23. It's fine. Two, I'll set a card and I'll pass it over to you, my good friend. I'll draw. Stand by main. Well, my friend, I guess I return the favor. I'll special Cyber Dragon. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> What? Oh! <gasps> Fuck! Oh my god! May I contact Fuse? Uh, no, no, you can't. No, you can't, because I have a response. Do you? Holy shit, this might work. Yes, okay, I'm going to use Twin Twisters. Okay. I'm going to pitch Brain Control for my hand. Okay. I'm going to pop my Oasis and the Cosmo Town. Sure. Sending the Slip Rider to Graveyard. Yep. I'm going to do Chain Link, one Slip Rider, two Town, and... Yeah. Is that good? That's fine. Oh, okay. Crisis averted. I thought I was almost... <laughs> I was ready to... Con I was ready to concede. You don't understand. I was like, oh, he got it. <laughs> um, problem is now is I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to go into this Dark Destroyer in my hand in case you have another one. Could you imagine? That'd be a disaster. That would be crazy. Um, off of the Slip Rider, we're going to Special Wicked Witch. Yep. And then off of Cosmo Town, I'm going to add Straw Man to hand. Straw Man. Interesting. Sure. We'll go battle phase. 
Sure. We'll tag. Okay. I will use Wicked Witch's effect. I'll tag her out for Dark Destroyer, and I'll get rid of the Cyber Dragon. He's out of here. Second main. What's uh? What's Strawman's attack? Strawman has a humble 500. 500. Little guy. Little, but also just big enough. I do have another one. All right. So we'll, okay. We'll contact. <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll get the Fortress Dragon. Sure. It's a 2,000 Fortress 2, Dragon. 2,000. Right? Okay. I'll pass. All right. Draw. Part of the cards, baby. That was not it. Oh, that was most certainly not it. I don't know what's in your hand, right? No idea? Nope. nope. Yeah, this is the move. All right. I'm going to normal summon the Cosmo Straw Man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use his special ability, paying 500 life points. I get to special summon back one of the Cosmo cards. I'll bring back the Slip Rider. Yep. Destroys during the end phase, but that's going to be okay. I'll go battle phase. I'll go Slip Rider over your 2,000 Fortress Dragon. Take three. What are you worried about, Gage? <laughs> it's not Gorge. I know it's not Gorge. <laughs> I'll take, take five. five. Uh, main phase two. I'm just going to go to the end phase. Slip Rider dies, yep. and then it triggers. Mm-hmm. So we'll pop it and then banish it. I'm going to go for Cosmo Tin Can. A tin there. Can, yeah. Yes. I'm going to pay myself down to 500 life. 400. 400, sorry. I can't count. And I'm going to reveal three from my deck, and you'll pick one of them. So we'll go. There's actually a macro on this, I believe. Is there? You hover over it. <gasps> oh, there is. Resolve yep. effect. I, that's, I, I remember that somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to pick out Forerunner. They have to be different names, right? They do have to be different names. Yep. So Forerunner, Delta Shuttle, and uh, Slip Rider. Pick one of those three. It may not even let me choose. It doesn't let you, I don't think. Yep. Yep. Okay. Forerunner right, cool. in hand. Yeah. Okay. Um, from there, I'm just going to pass the turn. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. We've got Forerunner. Oh, yeah. You would know what it is. Don't know your other card. You drew that for turn. Uh, I'm going to eat Telly. Okay. Get my own Straw Man. Okay. Uh, we'll activate the effect. Sure. Get my Dark Destroyer back. Yep. Uh, we will go battle. You don't want to pop or attempt to pop with this? It's negated with Strawman. That's right. I, I literally just used this card. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dark Destroyers. Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Strawman into Tin Can. Uh, that's going to be fine. And then Dark Destroyer into Strawman. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to use its effect. That you will. I'll bring out Forerunner. And then do you want to attack Forerunner? Do I want to attack Forerunner? That is an interesting question, Gage. Do I want to attack Forerunner? You still have a card in hand. I know at this point you don't have more than one Dark Destroyer because you would have sent it off the Tin Can unless it's literally the last card in your hand, uh, which if it is, that's also fine because I have my own Dark Destroyer. You know what? I'm going to let you keep the Forerunner. Ooh, generous of him. Thank you. But not for very long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Generous of him. Thank you, Alex. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go to end phase. We're going to have a couple things happen. So my straw man's going to get banished from e Telly. Yep. Uh, Dark Destroyer is going to get destroyed from straw man. I'll trigger it. Yep. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grab ourselves a forerunner and we'll throw yep. to you. Okay. Draw. Damn it. Uh, go. Anything? Oh, is your fate going to be down to reasoning of all things? Oh, I'm excited for this, buddy. I, I mean, it was probably down. <laughs> To a lot more than that, but I'm going to call five because it seems to be a repeating sure. number in your deck, All right. so I'm going to call five. Ooh, the dog fighter gets in. I got that dog in me. Dog fighter, get in. Yeah, you do, bro. That's so tragic. I can't believe it, man. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Fuck, dude. Those games were, those games Holy felt shit. close, too. Like, I, that game won, dude, four turns in a row, I was... A hundred oh, life points it. off, or you fucking up and putting one monster on the board that I could pop <laughs> for four turns or something. I was just waiting, and then you did reasoning, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's my monster!" And then you added a forerunner, and I was like, <laughs> "Fuck!" Like now I'm back to square one. Oh, I was so close. I couldn't. I just couldn't code through it. I'm, so, I'm gonna have to look back at that to see. If I think you did have it. a way to beat me because so I didn't know this at the time, and I didn't want to reveal it. But you do have multiple slip riders, and so that was what I wasn't sure about whether or not you had slip ride a second slip rider anyway so i think what you could have done was there i think there was some weird line where like early on when we were sort of at our stalemate if you 
went for your slip rider to pop the call of the haunted that had that was attached to the dark destroyer i hadn't drawn the third call of the haunted yet and so that dark destroyer would have floated but i think there was a situation where you could have like maneuvered past like everything else and like maybe had a lethal line at that point if you just had a way to get through like a forerunner at that point but when we were at that stalemate i got more time to find like that other call of the haunted and i'm not sure if that was like the determining point but i think I was trying to like do math and like in my head and see how you could try to kill me. I don't remember the exact way, but I figured there was a way that I think you could have killed me, which is why I switched my Delta shuttle to defense that one turn. Cause I think you could have like crashed your dog fighter into my Delta shuttle and like floated into. Yeah. Into another, there was Delta some, fighter. there was yeah, some weird the, line. Yeah. I figured out that I knew you could have lethal me, which is why I switched that Delta shuttle to defense again. I don't remember what it is, but I, I'm sure when you watch the replay, you, even, you'll probably figure it out now. Yeah. I even think at one point I said like, I might've punted it there too. I know like I, the, probably the, the critical points was that call of the haunted. And like, I also had to read that you probably didn't have a third forerunner, which was wrong. If you would have summoned anything other than forerunner, I could have still made the Volcasaurus and mm -hmm. pop it and win but you had a third forerunner, which that card cannot yep. be targeted. So You know <laughs> so what's really funny about you calling five off reasoning? I have zero slip rider. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just my luck, right? Yeah, just my luck. How many How many Dark Destroyers and how many I have one Dark Destroyer, one Farm Girl. That's what I'm working with. Okay, I have one Dark Destroyer. I you don't, don't have, have a Farm Girl. girl. Okay, so I was worried about Farm Girl no like farm a girl. lot of the time too because that's like usually where a lot of the lethal lines come from, just out of nowhere. So, yeah. Uh, very funny though, you had System Down in case I played this and I had Sidra in case you played this. Yeah, hey, we were both kind of thinking the same thing. That's yeah. pretty funny. I, I don't know, man. The System Down, I thought it was going to win me the game on the spot right there. I was yeah. like, oh, it's done. good. Like, I mean, they're, like, both, they're both good for different reasons, obviously. But I will say you definitely have the better Cosmo deck because I have zero Slip Rider. I don't have Tin Can. I also don't have Sword Trooper. Can you fucking believe that? I didn't pull a single Sword Trooper wow. out of yeah, Breakers of Shadow. Yeah, so we were really scraping the bottom of the barrel to make this deck playable. Um, so... That was that was wild. I'll be curious to see what your build looks like because maybe uh, obviously great minds think alike, but I wonder how differing our our theories were with this. What trap cards did you play? I noticed you were playing real trap cards. I only have like the calls, and that's it. I have, like the, play, like, I have the I have the calls. I have a torrential, a strike, and oasis. I'm just playing six traps. So okay. Yeah. yeah okay. The Torrential was obvious just because if you weren't playing this deck, I get all the value if I Torrential myself. I don't care. And then Strike is really good yeah. just generally yep. and uh, came up in the first game. So it's just it good to stop yeah. you when you think you might be able to tag out or do some shenanigans. I can actually interact with you quite well. Especially like on a, t on a pilot tag out, Strike is just crippling a lot of the time. Yeah. Damn, dude, now I'm losing games again. I'm dropping them, bro. I'm falling this is hard, though. This matchup sucks. This matchup sucks. This one yeah. was tough. Like, that 40-minute game, like, people aren't going to see it because it's going to yeah. get cut down. But it was, uh, it was a brain yeah. racker, bro. Like, uh, every single turn mattered there, yeah. I think. And uh, I don't know. I thought it was a good game. I, I thought, thought so. How about your other premium gold luck? Anything else? Obviously, you got Volcasaurus, so, you know, that's good. I <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get the <laughs> fucking summon it. But I did get Volcasaurus. I got um, Beatrice, that's which cool. was really good. I got the one Dark Destroyer, which kind of put the strategy Same. together. It was like, all right, I think. Um, did you get anything out of this world? I also got a Volcasaurus. I was playing mine as well. Although I have less fives, but I figured if there's a world where I have multiple Delta shuttles on the field or like a Sidra and a Delta shuttle, which would never happen, but uh, it could come up. Who knows? I also got another Castell, which is nice because, you know, I haven't had it for so long, but uh, having a second one now mm -hmm. is pretty good. Not particularly in this matchup. Honestly, I got really lucky on the Cosmo stuff. I only had the one Destroyer, but mm -hmm. I just got a lot of stuff that I was missing. I got two Straw Man. I, I, if it wasn't for how good my Cosmo pulls were in this set, I wouldn't have been able to play this deck that's that's okay. all i can say so what were you what were you hiding that you took from the wheel last episode i, I thought that was what you were gonna yeah, bring i guess it's time yeah. to show what, what were you cooking he is in okay. my deck he is in my deck uh, he wouldn't make anything too crazy but he is a little bit of a rascal okay. though. are you familiar with uh our good friend Mind so Master, it's though? interesting i was thinking because you know i've had this forever and i was thinking about yep. putting this in here but i didn't exactly know what this was going to accomplish like yeah it can like theoretically tutor for any of the low level uh pilots because they're all psychic but i couldn't like find like what crazy stuff this card unlocks so what did you cook up with this yeah in this deck it's nothing too crazy it's just essentially getting like multiple like insane value off of the pilots sure. right like if you go sword trooper reborn which you don't have sword trooper uh i could use the mind master to tribute off the sword trooper pick up another card That's from fair. deck like the straw man straw man effect put more so it can put just a lot of damage on the board That's really fair. quickly fair. um 
I think that was the, just the it's also a tuner. Uh, obviously, yeah, yeah. That was another thing is I have this in hand sure. and I was like trying to find a way. Like I was like, surely I have some type of Synchro 8. I do not. Yeah. Nothing, <laughs> nothing that helps No, I literally had both so. of these cards in my deck at one point and I just decided not to play them because I didn't think it was worth it. So that's interesting. That's cool. But it's cool. You have the Mind Master now. Maybe you'll be able to cook the real goo up with this at some point. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I think there's something crazy with him that hasn't been found yet, but uh, he's now in my collection. So you might want to be weary yeah. of him. Definitely something that uh, I was worried about you always going to ban this potentially, but now that you have a copy, you know, it's fair game, I suppose. I'll let you know the wheel wasn't uh, too crazy. I ended up getting a secret rare wild card, I think, out of our last set, which was Wing Raiders, and I ended mm -hmm. up taking a copy of Four Strix. So, got one of those oh, in my okay. collection. Yeah. I missed it from our actual poll, and I thought, yeah, this card's like generically okay. Maybe we'll do something with it. That's right. You told me you got no secret. I didn't get right? a single secret in my opening. Yeah. yeah so it's between that and like Break Sword, well, and I don't really have a good like rank three strategy at all. So I figured four Strix, mm -hmm. at least there might be something I can do with it at some point. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, both out a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment on My Hopes and Dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.